trust God is greater than our heart and knows all things. Beloved, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence towards God. Next. And whatever we ask, we receive from Him. How many, how many want that? Whatever we ask, we receive from God. Okay. Uh, Father, mark them, God. Uh, how many, how many again? Let me see. Angels, take down notes. Okay. Whatever we ask, we receive from Him because we keep His commandments. Uh, because we keep His commandments and do those things that are pleasing in His sight. Stop. If we had stopped there, a lot of people say, you see, you see, you see, and they'll be, they'll be uh, 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 challenging you on the commands of Moses, what they call the Mosaic commandments, the Ten Commandments. Thank God God explains it. I said, thank God. It goes on to say, and this is His commandment, that we should believe on the name of His Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave us commandment. All right? Now, when he gave us his commandment, our Lord, the last day of the Lord's Supper, uh, before he died, he gave us this new commandment. In fact, in John 13, it tells us this, in John 13, verse 33 and 34, 34 and 35, a new commandment. Say new. Now, people, what I understand is new means what? New. You cannot read the Ten Commandments into this. Some people, when they see the, the commandment, they think Jesus is rehashing something. They think Jesus is saying, uh, uh, what the Ten Commandments is saying, thou shalt love your neighbor as yourself. By the way, the question was asked the Lord Jesus one time by the Pharisees. And they were trying to catch Jesus, so they sent a teacher, all right, a, a teacher of the law, all right, a master of the law, went to Jesus and said, <coughs> Master, which is, they're trying to catch him, which is the greatest commandment of all. And the Lord turned to them and says, Hear, O Israel. Who is he addressing? Israel. Strictly speaking, the law was given to Israel. Nonetheless, Jesus answered what they asked. Some people think he was trying to bring up the new commandment. No, it's, it's, it's the Old Testament. This is what they believe. And Jesus answering the question, Hear, O Israel. Shema Israel. Adonai Elohim, Adonai Echad. The Lord our God is one God. Echad, Echad is actually united whole. That means plural oneness. Three in one. Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Father, Son, Spirit. Adonai Elohe Shema Yisrael, Adonai Elohenu, Adonai Echad. And that's something that Jewish people will, you know, they have to agree. Echad. It's not another word. If singular you need one apple, they will use another word. But if all the apples are in one box, and they say one, so I don't, don't misunderstand. There's no three gods. There is a triune God. There are no three Joseph Prince, but it's a triune. I'm a tripartite. I'm made in God's image. I have a, I'm a spirit. I have a soul. You can't see it. And I live in a body. He answered and said, You shall love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, with all thy strength. And the second is like unto it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Now, this is the law. And mind you, he was answering them, which is the greatest commandment of the law. Right? Upon this hang all the law and the prophets, the Lord Jesus said. Now, if I was in the time of David, I would do my best to keep that. To love God all my heart, all my soul, all my strength. And even those who advocate that, have you done this? You see, I do my best. My best doesn't cut it when you are under the law. If you steal something from the supermarket here in Singapore, you tell the judge, I did my best not to, steal, not to steal. He won't judge you based on your heart. He will judge you based on your action. That's the role of the judicial court. Motive. It's subsidiary. It's subservient. Reference to all subservient to the deed. 
Thank God God is not just just God is love. Can I have a good amen? So some people say, well, the new commandment is the same. But what did Jesus say? A new commandment I give to you that you love one another as I have loved you. Now, this is the antipodes of the Ten Commandments. It's the opposite. The, the Ten Commandments, the second one is what? There are two tables, two tables of the law. By the way, Moses came down. Moses is the first time medicine was ever mentioned in the Bible. Moses came down the mountain with two tablets. Ah, oh, Father Green, you are so corny. You are right. You are so smart. Yeah, two tablets. And we still call it tablets today. It's back. It's back in vogue, man. So you're, you know, that you're reading your Bible on two tablets. It's as old as Moses. And thief too. Unbending. I prefer a book. Anyway. It came out of two tables. The first step is God saying, love me. Four commandments of the ten. The second step is love men as you love yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. And neighbor there refers to Israel. It's for Israel. Just for Israel. All scholars will agree with this. It's not referring to loving the Ammonites, the Moabites, all right? loving the, the Philistines. Looking to love your neighbor, neighbor Israelite. And how do you love him? As the Lord loves you? No. As yourself. Okay? Got it? Are you with me so far? So, first step, first tablet, God is saying, in essence, love me with all you can, with all your heart. Second tablet, love your neighbor as yourself. You told Israel. Now, this new commandment, love one another. It's not love your neighbor, it's not no more Israel. It is all believers. Love one another as I have loved you. So it behooves us to find out how much he loves us. Or else how can I love you? If I, I don't know how much he loves me, if I'm not focusing on how much uh, of his on his love for me, how can I love you? Because the new commandment is love one another as I have loved you. So God bless every ministry that unveils from the pulpit the love of Jesus. They are helping you fulfill the new commandment. 